Gospel of April the 6th, 2017, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never see, will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know Him, but I know Him. And if I should say that I do not know Him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know Him, and I keep His word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today I'm choosing these last words for the title of the homily. Jesus hid and went out of the temple area, which is terrible. For almost 2,000 years, the Jews have remained without temple. There is no temple. There is no prophets. There is no prince. No place to offer, in, to offer holocausts for the Jews. What is it that is happening here? Again, the Lord is telling the Jews, whoever keeps my word will never see death. And he also tells us, everyone, but he's talking to the Jews, and they do not accept him. They, see, they simply reject him. Oh, you are possessed. Abraham died. The prophets died. And you say those words? Who did you make yourself out to be? They are not being able to grasp the fact that the Lord is telling them, I am God. I am from the beginning. Before Abraham. He, and he will even say that. Before Abraham was born, I am. Ego e me. I am God. The Lord answers when he is asked, Who did you make yourself out to be? He says, If I glorify myself, it's in vain. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. And the Lord can say this because the Father has been granting miracles for us to see. At least these people that were with them, they were able to see at the time, as we are today, because the miracles continue to happen in the Lord's name, even today. But they don't want to see them. They just want to reject the Lord. The Lord says, I know him and I keep his word, the word of my father. He even says, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And the Jews again are upset. You're not even 50 years old and you have seen Abraham. You see, Abraham had passed away about at least 1800 years before the Christ was born. 1800 years. But then the Lord reveals himself. In truth, I tell you, before Abraham came to be, I am Ego Amy. And then they took, the Jews take their own position. They reject the Lord. They are able and willing to grab stones to stone him, to kill him. When we decide that we want to live our life the way we want, even if it goes against the will of God, it might come to pass that we also would like to pick up stones to kill God inside of ourselves. And it is so sad. Because if it ever comes to pass, 
that we are so determined, so full of hatred against God, that we definitely make him hide and go away from our, from ourselves who are we are supposed to be his temple then what will happen to us is eternal death not that we will pass away and just be destroyed but that we will that we will be abandoned in an empty and cold place cold from inside but perhaps burning from outside left alone, full of hatred, full of pain. Is that where we want to be, dear brothers? Is it worth this life of 50, 70 years of doing whatever we want and not really doing it against God? And then spend an eternity, thousands of millions of years, upon thousands of millions of years painting rather than truly turning around obeying the word of the Father doing what's right and start enjoying the brotherhood of mankind the love of God even now in our own lives as we walk through these last days of Lent let us reflect on this and let us ask repentance and the strength of God to turn around and be faithful. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.